This is SAT test 8, non-calculator question number 10. College Board is asking about people, camping, and tents, two-person tents, and four-person tents. And we know that the total number of people housed in these two-person tents and four-person tents is 202. And we know the total number of tents is 60. Since we have two statements involving these tents and people, that would be a system of equations. College Board asks typically six system of equations questions on each test, so it's worth practicing these and making them a priority. It's worth extra time to relearn systems if you're preparing for the SAT. So my first equation, let's define A equals number of two-person tents. And B equals number of four-person tents. And they said there are a total of 60 tents, so that's A plus B equals 60. They also say there's a total of 202 people, so twice the number of two-person tents plus four times the number of four-person tents equals the total number of people. We have several ways of solving this, but probably the easiest, particularly if you haven't done systems of equations recently, is they're saying find the number of two-person tents, and it's one of these four numbers. So let's try substituting them in. Since the number of person, two-person tents is A, that would be twice 30 for choice A, plus four times the number of four-person tents. There are 60 tents. 60 minus 30 is 30. And that gives me two times 30 is 60. 4 times 30 is 120, equals 180, and that is not 202. If I only ha had 34 person tents and 32 person tents, not all the people could sleep in a tent, somebody's sleeping in the dirt. So let's try the second choice. Twice 20, because two person tents is the answer choice, so I'm trying choice B, plus 4 times 60 minus 20 is 40. 2 times 20 is 40. 4 times 40 is 160. 40 plus 160 is 200. That is not 202, but I'm only short by two people. If I turn one of my two-person tents into a four-person tent, so that's twice 19 and four times 41. This is choice C, and I suspect it's going to work because they should give me two more people, but let's check. Twice 19 is 38. Four times 41 is 164. 8 plus 4 is 12, carry a 1. 3 plus 6 is 9, plus the 1 I carried is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Total of 202 people, which is what I'm looking for, so 19 is the correct answer. It's choice C. We won't always have multiple choice, so it's important to practice solving systems using the more algebraic approach. Let's take a look at that here. One option is, since I'm solving for A, the number of two-person tents, let's eliminate the variable B. If I subtract A from both sides of the first equation, I get B equals 60 minus A. So twice the number of two-person tents plus four times the number of four-person, which is 60 minus A, should be 202. Distributing 2A plus four times 60 is 240, Make sure you distribute the 4 to both terms. 250 minus 4a equals 202. 2a minus 4a is negative 2a. And if I subtract 240 from both sides, I get 240 minus 202 is 38. So 202 minus 240 is negative 38. Divide both sides by negative 2. A equals 19. That's the same answer I got by substituting in answer choices. And frequently, substituting in for one variable will be the easiest approach. But there's another approach that's well worth checking because often the question is presented in a form where eliminating a variable is the easiest. I'm looking for A, so I want to get rid of B. Let's multiply the first through equation, 
first equation through by negative 4. So negative 4 times a is negative 4a. Negative 4 times b is negative 4b. Negative 4 times 60 is negative 240. If I add these two equations to each other, 2a minus 4a is negative 2a. 4b minus 4b is 0b. That's why I chose multiplying by negative 4, because then negative 4 times the first equation, when I add the b terms, I get 0b. 60 plus negative 240, I'm sorry, I'm over here. 202 plus negative 240 is negative 38. Same equation I got later in the previous problem, or the previous solution. So a equals 19. And that's it for systems of equations when you don't have a calculator. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.